What is Foxy Proxy? Hey there, girls and guys. Foxy Proxy is a browser extension for Chrome and Firefox. In Firefox, if you head on to the top right hand corner, you'll see there's an icon that looks like a hamburger lines. Click on this, scroll down to add ons and themes. In the search bar, type Foxy Proxy and hit search. And it's the first one, Foxy Proxy Standard, not Foxy Tab, that you want to download. Next, you click Add to Firefox. Click Add. Check the box, allow this extension to run in private windows, and then select OK. Now you can see in the top right corner, we have a little icon that looks like a fox with a red cross or line over it. Click on this, select options. We're going to configure the options. We need to set up our proxy. So you click on add. In the title or description, type in burp or whatever name you want to put in here. You can select the color of the tab when it's on. The proxy IP address that you need to set is 127.0.0.1 and the port is 8080 the rest you can leave and then click save now if you go back to the icon of the fox and you click on it you'll be able to toggle between on and off now back in the dashboard of burp head over to the proxy tab then in the sub tab, select options and in the first proxy listeners box, as you can see in my highlight, we have an IP address which was the default setup we did for burp. Just to demonstrate this, I'm going to open up my browser, minimize it and move it down. If I click on burp, options again and there's the setting that we set up for the proxy if i click on edit the details here should match the details in the proxy listener and then you are good to go now i'm going to demonstrate a capture opening burp suite again once it loads just click default settings and start burp. Head over to the proxy. Make sure the intercept button is on. In my case right now, I'm going to switch it off. I'm first going to make sure that the page I want to utilize with burp in my browser is set up. In this case, we'll just use try hack me as a demonstration purpose. So now that I'm on the page that I'd like, I switch on burp by selecting the proxy in my browser, switch it on, move back over to burp, switch my intercept to on, and now if I go back to my browser and I reload the page, burp will capture this. Let's move back to burp, and you can see the first one we can drop. It's a GET request to our API, forward this, and the next one is the GET request to try hack me. And this is where we can right click and send it to any of the other tools like repeater or sequencer. In this case, I'm sending it to repeater. I can now go ahead and switch off my intercept is on button by selecting it. And I can go back to my browser, the extension for burp, select it and switch it off. Otherwise, everything will start hanging. Go back into my burp, go to HTTP history and you'll see all the captures that burp did and you can see the second one is the try hack me request that was caught there's the request on the left and on the right we get our response and if i move over to repeater where i earlier right clicked and sent it to we have a similar setup with a request column and our response columns on the right so when we modify the data and we click send we'll see the response 
on the right hand side and congratulations you've captured your first request now i'd like to show you a brief capture and what happens when your screen or browser freezes due to burp being on so i'm switching on burp proxy again in my browser tab triacme is our example if i go back over to burp to the proxy tab intercept button is on and if I click on something different like the offline cyber chef, I've clicked on it. We can see in the right hand corner there's a red dot flashing which indicates that Burp has captured it. Minimizing my browser screen. Sorry, I'm opening up Burp. I'm going to try and maneuver this in a way so that you can see both tabs and see what is happening. So the capture has taken place and you can see that the screen in my browser has still frozen if i click forward watch how many times i have to click forward before the browser releases and actually goes through to the cyber chef this is how you would forward requests or drop the requests in order to keep burp proxying through and there you can see cyber chef loads up now we can intercept http traffic unfortunately when we move over to https we have a problem due to TLS enabled and we'll get an error. Stay tuned to see how we set up a certificate authority by Portswigger. Head on over to Portswigger's website, installing Burp's CA certificate, different browsers from Firefox, Chrome, Safari to Internet Explorer. In my case, I'm using Firefox. I'm going to right click, open the tab in a new tab and installing Burp CA certificate in Firefox and with Burp running, visit HTTP Burp Suite in Firefox. I'm going to switch on my Burp proxy in the browser. I'm going to make sure that my Burp is open and the intercept is on in the proxy tab and now I'm going to move over to a new tab in Firefox and I'm going to type in HTTP Burp Suite and hit enter and it says Burp Suite Community Edition Certificate CA Certificate click on this in order to download it once we have the certificate downloaded in a new tab type in about colon preferences in the search bar type certificates and there you see the first one says view certificates open this select the middle button that says import go to the certificate that you just downloaded and click open select the first checkbox to trust it and select ok and you have now uploaded the certificate if you want to check that it's loaded and scroll all the way down in the certificates until P for Port Swigger. Congratulations! Your Burp Suite is now successfully configured to use Foxy Proxy browser extension together with a TLS enabled Burp Suite certificate. Happy capturing!